How do you nail your sales role play interview? Hi, I'm Michelle Terpstra and I'm a Chief Revenue Officer and I'm here to share all of the goodies about revenue, including landing your dream sales job. Now make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future content. Let's go ahead and jump right into that sales role play. Now, regardless if you are an expert sales pro or just starting to get your feet wet in your sales career, the sales role play is really a very key part to being successful in the job interview process. So I'm gonna help you today absolutely nail it. So I have six key parts to making sure that you absolutely crush that sales role play during your next job interview. Plus, if you listen all the way to the end, I have one bonus that you will not want to miss. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, the role play part of the sales interview process is actually one of my favorites because it's when I get to jump into what it would actually be like to sell for the company. So first of all, it's all about your mindset, right? So make sure that you go into this role play being like, heck yes, I'm the best darn sales rep in the world. I'm gonna absolutely rock this and I cannot wait to sell for this company because that energy will totally set you apart from anyone else who's going through the same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the six step process of making sure that you rock that sales role play. Number one is you absolutely have to prep. Now, I know that's kind of obvious, but I'm gonna give you some specifics that will really set you apart. Number one is make sure that you're really, really clear on the client profile for the company that you're interviewing with. You can find this information easily online. You can look at blogs, um, any other type of PR that's out there for the company, social media, but also you can ask some really great questions during that first interview before the role play um, to allow yourself to understand more about the client profile so you can prepare for role play. All right, number two, make sure that you come prepared with discovery questions. These are customized to the company and of course the client profile that you've already researched. You don't wanna show up with the generic ones, well, because it's gonna make you generic, all right? So listen, you're a sales pro and you're going to know some of the best discovery call questions out there, but what is really, really critical is that you customize them to the company. So if you're up and coming, friends, make sure that you research top discovery questions so that you can nail it during that part of role play because I always say the meat, the best information you're gonna get in order to make that call a close is gonna happen in discovery, okay? All right, next thing, number three, is it's time to listen, all right? Now, I know you're the one who's being interviewed, but technically during role play, you're interviewing, right? So it is really, really critical that you are listening. You are using active listening skills, your body language. It doesn't matter if it's a virtual interview or if it's in person, like make it inviting, be engaged, and show that you're actively listening. Now, the next layer to that, number four, is to make sure that your follow-up questions during discovery are on fire, okay? This will allow you to get more information about the company, the unique value proposition, and the client profile live during role play. And because you're an extraordinary sales rep, you'll be able to take that information really quickly and tie it back to the end so that you can have a successful close um, at the end of role play, okay? All right, so number five is to make sure that when you pitch the solution at the end, that it is results oriented, that you are solving a problem and that you are truly showing that potential client exactly how that company can help them get a certain result, get rid of a certain pain, and really make it super, super clear. Now, I'm going to warn you here, make sure that you don't focus too much on features and benefits during this part because unless you're selling a vacuum, nobody's really gonna care that much about features and benefits, okay? What they care about is, are you gonna solve my problem? 
my life gonna be easier? Am I gonna make more money? Like, are you the right person to get in here and solve this problem for me or my company? So focus on that and just lightly brush on product details may not even be necessary, okay? Now, number six, make sure you close something. All right, so we all know this, that in sales, every single sales conversation should close to the next, the next step of the sales cycle. So depending on what exactly you are interviewing for and what you plan on selling, that could be a trial close if you're selling um, SaaS or SaaS software. Um, that could be um, closing to the follow-up call. That could be um, booking the next meeting with other decision makers that are uh, really, really important for the buying decision or if you get really lucky you get to close them right on the spot all right so that is number six now I am really curious before I jump into number seven let me know in the comment section below what you think I may have left out from my tips and advice so far on nailing that role play I read them all friends and it really gets me excited to show up here and create more content when I see engagements in the comment section all right, so drum roll, please. All right, number seven is smile. All right, now you might be laughing a little bit and might be thinking, well, duh, Michelle, of course I'm gonna smile, but actually, Sometimes that feels kind of hard during role play. You might be nervous, you might be overthinking, you might be overexcited, but when someone smiles, it's absolutely contagious in the best way possible, regardless of your personality or selling angle. Like, please make sure that you're smiling. It makes you trustworthy, likable. It shows that you're engaged and it just will make the interviewer a lot happier. And that's exactly what you want to do. So make sure that you smile. Now, friends, if you are not subscribed to my free weekly newsletter, Sunday Sales Delight, please go below and go ahead and sign up. It is exactly where you need to be if you are an entrepreneur, business owner, sales leader, or sales pro looking to knock it out of the park, make more sales, and see your revenue grow. I deliver it weekly every single Sunday. Sunday Sales Delight is enjoyed by thousands, and I would love for you to join. I'll see you next time.